Hi everybody, I'm Renaissance Mama and today we're going to learn about colors. We're going to be reading a story called Little Blue and Little Yellow by Leo Leone. While we're reading, moms and dads, I need you to get a few things ready for your child. This activity is geared for children ages 3 to 5 to do independently. Children under the age of 3 should be supervised by an adult. What we will need are eight cups. I'm using plastic cups, always safer with young children. Three of those eight cups should be filled with water. In those three water-filled cups, we need some food coloring, yellow, blue, and red. In the yellow, I have approximately seven drops of food coloring. In the blue, I have approximately 15. In the red, I also have 15. You may also want to have some paper towel underneath. We can use it for painting when we're finished. And a pastry brush, toothbrush, or any old paintbrush. Smocks are recommended. Food coloring is stain. It does stain. And you may want your child to wear gloves. But it will eventually wash off. So while you're getting that ready, Mom and Dad, let's read our story. Little Blue and Little Yellow by Leo Leone. This is Little Blue. Here he is at home with his Papa and Mama Blue. Little Blue has many friends. But his best friend is Little Yellow, who lives across the street. How they love to play hide and seek and ring a ring of rosies. In school, they sit still in neat rows. After school, they run and jump. One day, Mama Blue went sh shopping. You stay at home, she said to Little Blue. But Little Blue went out to look for Little Yellow. Uh-oh. Not listening to his mama, that's not a good idea. Alas, the house across the street was empty. Little Blue looked here and there and everywhere until suddenly around a corner there was Little Yellow. Happily, they hugged each other. It's happening when blue and yellow hug each other. Hmm. The third color coming into the picture. And hugged each other until they were green. Then they went to play in the park. They ran through a tunnel. They chased little orange. They climbed a mountain. When they were tired, they went home. Hmm. What's going to happen? But Papa and Mama Blue said, you are not our little blue, you are green. And Papa and Mama Yellow said, you're not our little yellow, you are green. Uh-oh. Little Blue and Yellow were very sad. They cried big blue and yellow tears. They cried and cried until they were all tears. When they finally pulled themselves together, they said, will they believe us now? Mama Blue and Papa Blue were very happy to see their little blue. They hugged and kissed him, and they hugged Little Yellow too. But look, they became green. Hmm, yes, Mama and Papa will believe them now. Now they knew what had happened, and so they went across the street to bring the good news. They all hugged each other with joy, and the children played until supper time. 
the end. Okay, that's a great story. So now we're going to make some colors of our own. Our first three colors, yellow, blue, and red, are primary colors, boys and girls. That means that they aren't made out of another color, okay? So we're also going to make some secondary colors. Secondary colors happen when you mix two primary colors together. So we're gonna make three secondary colors. So first, we're going to pour some red and some yellow into an empty cup. And we get orange. Now we're going to pour some red and some blue into a cup and we get purple. Last we're going to put some yellow and blue into a cup and we get green. So orange, purple, and green are our secondary colors. Now we're gonna make two tertiary colors. We get a tertiary color when we mix a primary with a secondary. So the tertiary color we're gonna to practice today is brown. So our primary color for brown is red. Our secondary color to make brown is green. Look at that, we made brown. Now we're gonna make black. White is the absence of color, it means no color at all. Black is all the colors together. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix all of our colors to get some black water. Yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green, and brown. Okay. So what we can do with our colors when we're done is we can do a little painting on our towel or on a piece of paper. Construction paper absorbs the water better than regular printer paper. So moms and dads, if you want to let your child paint now, I'm gonna make a little rainbow with all the colors we made today. And I'm using a pastry brush. So the colors of the rainbow are red, Orange, yellow, green. Blue, and violet, also known as purple. We have a little brown for underneath. How about some black? Pop 
pot of gold at the bottom of our rainbow. Okay. So those are our colors today, children. You can mix any colors that you want simply with red, yellow, and blue paint. You try it at home. I'll see you next time on a Renaissance Mama. Bye.